Hey guys, it's Tech Ryan here. In today's video, I got a fun one for you guys. The question we're gonna answer here today is how many Chrome tabs can you open with 64 gigabytes of RAM? That is right. This is the most amount of memory I've ever used. And I wanna see how many Chrome tabs we can open here today. Because one of the big reasons we got this from my brother was because of his coding for Python and stuff like that. But he does a re ton of research. So he, of course, he opens a bunch of tabs and he wanna open unlimited Chrome tabs. And we're gonna see just how many tabs can we open with 64 gigabytes of RAM. So let's get into it. Okay, so I just opened my brother's PC, just can install the 64 gigs. And I just realized, I thought he had two uh, gigs of like eight gig sticks. And I think he has one individual 16 gig stick. That is his eight gigs of RAM. So I'm actually double check the module on this. Cause like, if this is an eight gig stick, where did the 16 we gave him go? Yeah, so that is interesting. Okay, this is this is a single stick of uh, 16 gigabytes. I thought we installed two sticks. I guess not. The good thing about his PC though is versus coding stuff, we got him a 3090, which has got 24 gigs of VRAM. So he's be able to do anything he wants. So not only will he have 24 gigs of VRAM, he will now have 64 gigs of uh, normal RAM to actually use. And this motherboard's interesting because the way the RAM slot works, you have to open up one side to actually install RAM, but you can't open the other side which always trips me on out when I'm installing RAM into the computer because I feel like I'm doing it wrong. And then I look at it and I'm like, well, never mind. I retract all my previous statements. I am doing it right. With that though, the RAM is installed. So, uh, Slark, I figured out your problem why your RAM's not that good. Like it is 16 gigs. The problem of it is it's single channel, not dual channel. Do you know what the difference between the two do? I should. You don't though. Okay, so dual channel means that the RAM can be better utilized and better processed. With a single channel of 16 gigs, it doesn't actually get the most out of it with the 16. So uh, yeah, that's why it wasn't performing that well. But in the same time too, like with the amount of Chrome tabs you're opening, this is bound to have some problems. So now you know that. So uh, yeah, your 64 gigs are installed. Do you want to tell us what you're going to use it for? I'm going to have way too many papers and browsers open. I'll probably have bookmarked Chrome tabs like cool people with lots of RAM do. Okay, and let me ask this question next. Like, what do you use your PC for? I um, I train models and I run code. What what kind of coding do you use primarily? Like Python. Lots of Python. Lots, lots of Python. Of, a little bit of Rust. Okay. Lots of Python primarily. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, are you excited for 64 gigs to see what it can do? Yes. Cool. So let's check your memory and see if it's actually like installed on Linux. Whoa, <laughs> there it is. 64 gigabytes of RAM. Look at that. Look at that yeah. on Linux too. Well, okay. it's just 62, but two goes yeah. to swap, yeah. Yeah, it's just used to like back up and stuff. Does anything with storage when it has like two terabytes or something, it'll always cut it down by a small percentage. All so, right, so let's see how many Chrome tabs you can actually open. Okay, so explain how the script works. Okay, so we made a bash script that has a for loop for like a thousand times and then the, we have to tell Google Chrome, we have to tell it to ignore certificate errors and key lists, I don't really know why, uh, to be honest, but those those three flags are necessary, otherwise it will, like, my computer will stop opening Chrome, because it's like, don't do this to yourself, man. It's like, don't DDoS or crash yourself. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I want to. Okay, so, <laughs> um, current memory, one out of 62. Okay, uh, let's run it. There's no way that it literally happens every time Grant goes to record. Bro, that's actually insane. We literally had it just working and now it's doing it again. That's stupid. Uh, we were having some problems because every single time I would start recording, it would uh, act weird and just not work. And we're currently using seven gigabytes of RAM and it's still looping right now. And we have it set to open like a thousand tabs right with your script. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. We got to like a plus 100, I think, so last time. So it'll be interesting seeing what it does. But these are kind of just all of his. Uh, what what type of we have set to the portfolio, or is it set yeah. to? The question ultimately becomes. We'll keep running. If you open like VS Code, while you're doing this, can you run VS Code? VS Code is like annoying because it takes up a bunch of RAM. Okay. Usually. So can I run like basic stuff? <laughs> What's well, running a thousand loops and in instances in the back? It keeps on taking my cursor away. But okay, it's cool. I can still look around in my files and stuff. And usually this would be slower. That's a good sign if you're, if this yeah, is an application. I have 20 gigabits of RAM rather, like up to here. I just know it's crazy to look at this like, dude, the amount of your little like icon for your guy is just like lining on up just because how many tabs is still opening. It's still opening tabs, but just doesn't show just how, oh my God. <laughs> 
it's breaking. It's literally breaking because it's making more. Oh, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> oh, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I think so, bro. But now it's going all across the whole screen. What? Oh my god. All right, That's so, so funny. So how much we at now? Uh, 23. 24. 23 gigs of RAM used. 24 now. 24. It's gonna probably hit like 64 and just crash. Oh, so, well, we're not we're not going that far, man. <laughs> like, don't break my PC now. <laughs> I don't really feel like testing. The, I, I'm sure it'd be fine. I'm sure it would handle it gracefully because I've crashed it before uh -huh. when I had 15. Cause yeah. That would that would happen. Quite Do you feel like time. you're gonna be set on RAM for like a minute? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I mean, if I can, I mean, usually I would, if I had like more than 10 or 12 Chrome tabs open, I couldn't even like really work with VS Code. Mm -hmm. And that was why I used to use Vim a lot when I, but it's just convenient to use VS Code on different machines. So the more I use it for work and stuff, the more I'm just like, oh, well, it's nice to just have it yeah on my main home machine and just get good with it so we just finished testing on google chrome we were able to open up over 1000 plus tabs on it that is right a thousand plus tabs on google chrome with 64 gigabytes of ram and we weren't able to fully utilize it we stopped actually at 38 gigs we could have kept going to 64 but it was taking a minute to load and of course the computer was being a little bit buggy with it like it could have probably hit 64 in all fairness but at that point it would have probably crashed so we just called it there but still 38 gigs with over 2,000 plus tabs, which is kind of insane to think about. So yeah, I think my brother's set on RAM for the time being for all of his research he wants to do. But if you guys enjoyed this fun video here today, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so I miss some future tech content because I've got some big plans coming for later this month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that, then you know what to do. And until then, have a great day. Tech Grant out.